It was, uh, it was great having Mrs. Clinton here, wasn't it? Sure was. Yeah, it was Real pleasure. All right, our next guest formed one of the most innovative and popular rock bands of the 70s. As a matter of fact, they are one of Gelman's favorite groups. Uh, their 13 albums have sold over 25 million copies. And fans are in for a real treat tomorrow when this four-CD box set, complete with all of uh, their classics, is released. That's tomorrow. A few new ones, too, I think. But right now, let's welcome Keith Emerson, Greg Lake, and Carl Palmer, Emerson Lake, and Palmer. <laughs> Yeah. What a resurgence all these great groups of the 70s are having now, you know? I'm thrilled because yeah. I'm not wild about today's music, and I was wild about this kind of mm -hmm. music, and it's all coming back. It's great. Yeah. Good. Mm -hmm. We knew there was someone. <laughs> Me and a whole lot of other people as well. Uh, absolutely. And this is a wonderful idea to put it all together, isn't it? I mean, these, these boxes with, with your, your favorite artists and, and a little little magazine and booklet, too, with all of the great old pictures. I've not heard it all yet. <laughs> there's new stuff on it as well. Yeah, there's though, right? 40 minutes of new music in there, and three previously unreleased tracks. Mm. Is there a lot of music that you've done over the years that's still sitting in a vault someplace? I think this is it. There might mm. be a couple of things, but this is the best of it now. Okay, good. So here they were, 21 years ago, 1972. Ooh, remember that. Just starting out. Ooh. Where were you from? That was taken in Kew Gardens in London. Kew Gardens in London. Are yes. you all from London originally? Different places? No, different. Different areas. I was born in Lancashire, um, Carl Birmingham. Great. And I was on the south, born on the south coast of England. Mm. So you had all those big hits, all those crowds, all those ovations, and now, 25 years later, here we are. Here we are. We've got <laughs> families. Are. And what do your children think of uh, your records? Well, my son, well, I've got two sons. One is 23 and the other one is 18. The eldest has now started his own band. <coughs> so um, it goes. Uh. Yeah, I used to, uh, uh, I tried roadieing for him at one point. <laughs> but, uh, he was too embarrassed about that. He said, no, Dad, you know, I don't want you there when I'm playing. That must be unbelievable to you, to see it all again happening to your kids. I mean, it's, it's frightening, it really. You know. <laughs> but did they like your sound? Did they like your sound? Well, I got home one day and I found all my albums out on the floor. I thought, what, the, what, what is all this doing out? You know, why don't you put these back? And he said, uh, we've been listening to them and they sound pretty good. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It takes time. Do, doesn't somebody here have a youngster who's a Madonna fan? Yes, my daughter. I think most young girls of 10 years old, though, are Madonna fans. Does that frighten you in any way? Well, I kind of heard that, whatever that album is, the Immaculate Collection, I don't know how many times. You know? <laughs> <laughs> I know, back to front. Huh. Or front to back. <laughs> but you guys did split up for, for a while there in the 80s, years years right? Small vacation, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, 12 years, go separate ways, separate yeah, performances. Yeah, we sort of hooked up in that 12 years in different formats. Uh, two solo albums, and uh, I, I had a farm for a while. Became a farmer for a... A gentleman that. English farmer. Yeah. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Not unlike Charlie Watts. <laughs> he was here recently <laughs> he was saying the same thing. Something about getting home from the road and getting your fingers in the dirt, Yeah, right? that's right, yeah back together again it was uh, a friend of ours who uh, now owns a, we'd never done a film score and we thought you know, to, to, what we were actually writing was was music for an album and so in the end we just said we'll put out the put out the record and yeah. so it went and, and, and the album came out and we started a tour and it really started from there and now you can't get away from now you can't stop right. it that's right all right well, we'll make a album in just a minute. <laughs>